Hello and welcome to Multiframe Webinar 3, Video 6 on Working with Loads. We've seen how we can apply different types of loads, and of course to manage our loads we want to group them together into load cases. Multiframe offers a lot of different load case types, so static uh, load cases and self-weight load cases are pretty self-explanatory. We can create load case combinations, and we can also create envelope load cases. Strictly speaking, they're more for managing results rather than application of loads, but uh, they're still a type of case in the multi-frame context. We've also got some special load types. We can create load cases for wind, water, current, and hydrostatic loads, and we can also create load cases for sea motion loads. It's really a special case of acceleration-induced uh, inertial loads uh, for the motions of a structure on a vessel. And then finally, uh, time history loads for time varying loads and seismic load cases for uh, acceleration, ground accelerations. They'll be on the scope of this webinar, but uh, uh, we'll look at those in future webinars where we're looking at dynamic loads. Let's go over to Multiframe and see how we can create and manage our load cases. So suppose we want to apply some loads to our structure, we go to the case menu and you can see the different types of load cases which are available. A self-weight load case is very self-explanatory, in fact it's just a special case of a general acceleration load case with the acceleration set to gravity in the negative y direction. Notice down the bottom we can choose what uh, self-weight gets applied. So whether or not the self-weight gets applied to members, to plate elements, and if you've used lump joint masses for inertial or dynamic calculations, you can optionally include them as point self-loads. So if we choose that, then if we go, normally the uh, self-weight loads aren't displayed, but we can turn on uh, the display of those loads if we want to uh, in our uh, symbols dialog. And so we can see the loads that get generated uh, from the self-weight command. It's usually uh, easier if we just turn the display of them off. The next type of load we'll look at is um, a basic static load case. There's nothing unusual about that except for design purposes. We can choose the loading type uh, of the load just for managing the loads and also the design classification that we can use. And then uh, as we apply loads to that, we can then create factored combinations. So if we choose a static combined load case, we can choose factors times the existing load cases so uh, to create our required design load combinations for design purposes. Also in uh, this menu, you can see the other load case types, the envelope load cases and so forth. In terms of managing the cases, we can reorder the cases in our list. The only limitation is that if you do create envelope or static combined load cases, you do have to have the source load cases earlier in the list than any of the combinations. And finally, in the data window, if we go to the display of load cases in that window, then uh, we can manage our different load cases there in Excel style format to uh, change any of the properties and just review all of the data that we've entered. So that's our initial setup of our load cases. Thank you for watching.